Okay, I think I want to spend a little bit more time on pH before we press forward. So I think I want to show you method number two for example eight. Then I'm going to turn this page over and it's blank. And we're just going to work a bunch of pH and pOH problems and we'll solve for hydronium and hydroxide ion concentration. And it should give you some nice help on, on your homework or your next assignment in class. Um, to wrap up number eight, uh, if I know the hydroxide ion concentration, didn't we say we could also find the hydronium ion concentration? Remember, wouldn't the hydronium ion concentration equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th? Remember, that's the Kw for water, divided by the hydroxide concentration, 8.04 times 10 to the negative third. So when I do that, let's see what we get here. 1 second EE negative 14 divided by uh, 8.04 second, oops, let's see, I did that right, second EE negative third. We'll enter that and we get 1.24 times 10 to the negative 12th. Now that's the hydronium ion concentration, but if I want the pH, I'd like the negative log of that number. So the negative log of 1.24 times 10 to the negative 12th should give me the pH. Now by the way, won't that be between 11 and 12? Notice that's what our answer was earlier. But let's plug it in anyway and take a look. So we'll hit negative log and we're going to type in 1.24 second EE negative 12 enter and we get 11.91 again. Same same. Match match. Okay, so find the method that you feel most comfortable with and use it. Let's turn this over and let's work on a few more pH problems, okay? This will be a, uh, quite a bit of help, I think, on your classwork and homework. And you can go back and review this video several times if you'd like to get the hang of it. Um, let me do a couple of problems for you. Let's do number one. I'm going to give you a pH of, I don't know, 6.43. Now, first of all, that's a pH lower than 7. So we know that that's acidic. True story, remember 7 is neutral. The lower you get, the more acidic it becomes. The higher you get, the more basic it becomes. So I want to know a few things. First of all, what's the pOH? Then I want to know the hydronium ion concentration. And then the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, so if I give you one, you should be able to figure out all uh, the other three. Let's do the easy one first. If the pH is 6.43, the pOH will be 14 minus 6.43. And I'm going to try to do that without a calculator. I think that is 7.57. 14 minus 6.43 would give you the pOH. Okay, how do we find the hydronium ion concentration? Well, that's 10 to the negative pH. So in this case, it's 10 to the negative 6.43. So let's see what that turns out to be. 10 carat key negative 6.43. We end up with 3.72 times 10 to the negative 7th. 3.72 times 10 to the negative 7th moles per liter. Not very concentrated. By the way, we knew that would have to be between 6 and 7. Right, the negative log of that would be 7. That number is bigger than 1, so it's going to be between 6 and 7. And that's what we got, 6.43. The OH minus concentration is going to be 10 to the negative pOH. So we have 10 to the negative 7.57. Let's see what that is. 10 carat key negative 7.57. We end up with 2.69 times 10 to the negative 8. 2.69 times 10 to the negative 8th moles per liter. Now just for fun, isn't this true? In any water solution, the hydronium concentration times the hydroxide concentration should be 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Should we put it to the test? Let's do that. The H plus is 3.72 times 10 to the negative 7th and the hydroxide 2.69 times 10 to the negative eighth. So let's do that. 
3.72 second EE negative 7 times 2.69 second EE negative 8 and we get sure enough oh, we got a little bit of a glare there can you see it 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14 just as we suspected okay let's do another one now by the way when I put this up here why don't you go ahead and try it and then you can you know you can pause the video go ahead and try it and then come back and see how you did so let's see we'll have this set up the same way but I don't want to give you pH this time let's make this a little bit different uh, let me give you the hydronium ion concentration say so it's 2.32 times 10 to the negative tenth all right moles per liter I think let's do the pH first shall we pH will be the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration which is the negative log of 2.32 times 10 to the negative tenth so my answer is going to be between 9 and 10 isn't it so let's see what that is the negative log of 2.32 second EE negative 10 enter we get 9.63 so that pH is higher than 7 so we know that's basic pOH that's easy 14 minus the pH 9.63 should give us the pOH so let's see that would be 4.3 37 I believe All right 9.63 plus 4.37 will get you to 14 that sounds reasonable and then the OH minus is 10 to the negative pOH which is 10 to the negative 4.37 so we can check that out let's clear this so we can see the top of the calculator 10 carat key negative 4.37 enter looks like we get 4.27 times 10 to the negative fifth molar okay so if I give you once again any of these four you should be able to do the other three let's do one more just for fun let's see which one do you want me to give you this time we did one where I gave you the pH we don't want to do that again oh, I could give you the pOH uh, we did one with the H plus and I could give you the OH minus. Let's see how good you are at reading my mind. I'm going to do. Well, let's do the hydroxide concentration. Okay. Let's say the hydroxide concentration is 4.32 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. Okay. Once again, you can pause this, try to do these others on your own, then come back and check your work. I'm just going to work on ahead, assuming you did the pausing thing. So let's find the pOH first, right? Because isn't that going to be the negative log of the OH minus concentration, which will be the negative log of 4.32 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay? So we'll go negative log of 4.32 second EE uh, negative 4. Now we know that answer is going to be between 3 and 4, don't we? Turns out to be 3.36. So that's my pOH. My pH? Well, that's going to be 14 minus 3.36, isn't it? And so let's see, that would be 10.64 if I did my math right. Notice that's higher than 7, so the, the pH is higher than 7, that's a basic solution. And finally the hydronium ion concentration will be 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 10.64. See what we get here, 10 carat key negative 10.64. We end up with 2.29 times 10 to the negative 11 and that would be in moles per liter. So you can see here pretty pretty easily, do you see how the hydroxide concentration is bigger than the hydronium ion concentration? I mean 10 to the negative fourth is, boy, seven powers of 10 bigger than 10 to the negative 11th. 
So that is very much basic. We have a lot more hydroxides than we do hydroniums. That's why it's basic. Let's look at one that was acidic up here. Um, here, do you see the hydronium ion concentrations 10 to the negative 7th? And the hydroxide smaller, it's 10 to the negative 8th. So the hydronium ion concentration is bigger. That's why it's acidic. Okay? Alrighty, I hope that helped you out. Um, um, let me know if you have any more questions, if there's any other types of, types of problems you'd like me to do for you. But this is pretty straightforward. I, I think you'll actually enjoy doing the assignment, whether we do it in class or at home. I think you'll be okay with it. Alrighty. Thanks for your time, folks. Bye-bye.